And we know that police somehow manage to de-escalate, disarm, and not kill white people every day. Alton Sterling, a father of, I believe, five, was gunned down by two police officers. But wait, we don't know the whole story. He could bite if he could have been. He was killed by two police officers. Before we get started, let me say this right out the gate. No, all police officers are not bad. I personally know some great ones. However, that does not mean we get to excuse behavior like this. I'm a comedian, y'all, and um, today I didn't feel like being funny. I felt like talking about this. Did you know Alton Sterling is the 558th person killed by police this year? We're only halfway through 2016. 558. A lot of people are upset and they're asking, what can we do? What do we do? What can we do? Do we on Facebook rants? Do we just talk about it? Do we just get upset? What do we do? Here's what you do. First of all, keep talking about it on social media. Keep it a topic, but keep it in your mind. Don't forget it. People like Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, Eric Gardner, see, they had all the momentum of the people behind them to rally for their justice. And then the news stopped talking about it and then everyone forgot. So we failed them. Yes, we failed them. Because if I'm not mistaken, there were no convictions in any of those cases. So we failed them. Let's not fail Alton Sterling. If you want to help, first things first, find out who the officers were. Get their names, badge numbers. If you live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I'm sure you can find it out a lot quicker than we can. Find them out, petition the police department to suspend these guys and definitely without pay or anything like that. I know you're thinking they should be fired or in jail. I'm going to get to that step by step. The second thing we need to do is find out what lawyer or what legal representation the family has, the Sterling family has. We have to find that out. Why? Because we need to either start a GoFundMe or send money or find out if they're raising money for a legal team. Because despite what you may think on high profile cases, you don't get no lawyer for free. That doesn't work that way. I know we see law and order and they have these high price attorneys. That doesn't work that way in real life. They need money. They need support. They need money, period. They need support and they need money again. They need support and they need money. They need money to pay for a great legal team to convict these guys. Because guess what? They killed this man. I understand what people say it was the law. You know, they're under a lot of stress and this. They killed that man. They killed him. They had him on his back with his arms pinned and they pumped six rounds into this man's body at a point blank range. That's murder. And to the people that think the cops did not do anything wrong, I want you to look at this. You see that? That's Alton Sterling's son, 15 years old. And he's never going to see his dad again. Not in this world. And so the last memories this man has, this boy has of his father, is his dad on his back with his arms pinned, with cops pumping six rounds into his body. So whether you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, you're Asian, or whatever, if this was your father, if this was someone you cared about, regardless of race, you would want justice. And we owe it to this man, this family, to bring him justice.